Ohio Public Transportation is taking steps to help the environment while saving costs at the same time. I'm here with Lake Tran and I have Ben Capel. He is the CEO. Ben, what made you want to make the switch to run your fleet on propane? There are two main reasons. One, you know, diesel was being phased out of the buses we were using. And two, really, uh, from all our research, propane was the, really the most cost effective way to operate. So cost eff effective in fuel costs or maintenance or both? Uh, both. For us, it was mainly in fuel costs. Um, my, my good example is we have we had a bus where two buses did the same thing for a long period of time, and one was propane, one was gasoline. And the propane bus cost about twelve hundred dollars to fuel, the pro uh, and the or I said the gasoline bus cost about twenty eight hundred dollars to fuel, and the propane bus cost about twelve hundred dollars to fuel. And I know your buses are traveling thousands of miles all the time, so having that fuel savings is huge. Yeah, it adds up really fast for us. A typical bus travels about 45,000 miles a year, and we have a fleet of 100 of them. So over time, that cost savings is huge. And how is propane better for the environment? I know it like there's a lot less carbon. You're, you're reducing your carbon footprint. Yeah, you know, it's a cleaner burning fuel. Um, the oil that comes out of the engine in an oil change is cleaner. So basically everything about the fuel is cleaner than either gasoline or diesel. And your drivers are breathing in cleaner air. Right, you know, it, it doesn't emit the same fumes that a diesel bus does, and that's especially good for us when you're loading a passenger from the rear, you know, that there are less fumes in a propane bus than there are in the other kind. So I know maintenance is cheaper, and how are your mechanics liking working on these propane buses? You know, it's like anything, it's a new technology for them, and they have to kind of get used to the changes, but, you know, our vendor has been great and done a lot of great training, and our guys have, uh, you know, they, they feel comfortable with it. And I mean, ultimately, it's just, it's a gasoline engine that runs on propane, so it's not a huge shift from what a typical mechanic would see. Yeah, and it's actually a lot easier to convert your buses to propane than you would think. I know you were able to get some grant money. Yeah, we buy all of our buses with grant funds, but one of the nice things is a lot of the grant funds are focused on reducing diesel emissions, and so most of our fleet is diesel, um, but because we're converting to propane, we've had an easier time finding money to convert them, and that's been really great for us. Yeah, and if you are a fleet owner looking to convert your fleet to run on propane, there is grant money out there available. So if you want to learn more, make sure to go to ohioautogas.com. I'm Abby with the Ohio Propane Gas Association. Thanks for tuning in.